right, so we're going to read our problem at least this first, uh, at least two times, maybe even more. All these steps, right? Let's go. Doug spent 16 days at summer camp. Each day he spent four hours at art and crafts. Each hour at art and crafts he made three drawings. How many drawings did he make while at summer camp? Very good. Very good. You guys are nice and loud. <laughs> First, we're going to start with our understand. We're going to move to our plan, solve, check, and check. Very good. Now, when we're checking, we're also seeing if there's another way we can solve our problem, too, right? Yes. Very good. So, understanding. What is? What are they asking us? How many drawings did he make at summer camp? Okay, so that's the question. How many drawings did he make at while at summer camp? What does that mean? What is he asking us? Not just what is the question, but what are they asking us? How many altogether? So he drew, he, we're going to find out how many he drew, but they want to know how many drawings. Kind of all together. Do they tell us how many drawings he did? No. No. So we've got to know how many kind of how many did he do all together? Now when we see the word all together, are we always gonna add? No. No. It can be different, it can mean different things, right? It can mean to multiply. It can mean to do nothing. It doesn't have anything to do with the word box, right? But usually it will mean to add. But today we're gonna find out what does all together mean because we've got to find out all the drawings. Okay? Very nice, station one. Okay, just get another computer. How about that? There's one right there. Okay, very good. So, now we got to make a plan. What are we always going to do when we have a plan? The first thing we're going to do. We're going to draw pictures. We're going to draw our problem out, right? Okay, so let's go back and read our problem one extra time, taking a look at what are our important numbers and our important things we have to draw out. All right, read it again. Doug spent 16 days at summer camp. Stop there. 16 days. Do we think that's important? Yes. Yes. So 16 days equals his whole time at camp, right? So we're going to, good job. Dominic's already boxing and I didn't even tell him to yet. So we're going to box 16 days. And Melvin, good job. What are y'all's groups? I'll give y'all points. Multiplication? What are you? Condition? Okay. 16 days at camp. Let's go to our next sentence. Each day he spent four hours at arts and crafts. Each day. Four hours. Is that important? Yeah. What are we going to box in that sentence? Four hours and there's another one. Each. Very good. Each means what? Every day, which means one day, right? So one day, he spends what? Four hours at the arts and crafts. And so, what do we think he's doing at those arts and crafts? Drawing. Drawing. So we're getting closer to figuring out our drawings, right? Okay, let's go to our next sentence. Each hour at arts and crafts, he made three drawings. So what are my important words there? Three drawings. Each hour. Three drawings. Each hour, because each means one hour equals three drawings. Okay. Now, our last sentence was our understand. How many drawings all together? So what are we going to do to figure this out? We're going to draw it out, right? Yes. So what do we have so far? We've got to figure out how many drawings in one what? In one day. Okay? So how many drawings in one day? How many hours do we have? Four. Four hours. And how many drawings were in each hour? Three. Three. Okay. Three. 
Okay. So how do we figure out all together part of this? I can multiply. So I could do three times what? Four times three. Sorry, thanks. See? Four groups of three. You go. Or what else could I do? I could do repeat addition. So I'm already starting my check part, right? Because I'm already thinking there are more than one ways to do this. So three times four, or, or excuse me, four times three, or add it all together. What does that equal? Twelve. Twelve what? Twelve drawings. drawings. And what is my goal? To figure out my drawings. I don't want to know days. I don't want to know hours. I need to know drawings, right? Okay. So, I know 12 drawings per day. Am I finished? No. Okay, so he has 12 drawings. Equals one day, right? Because I multiplied four times three. Sorry, I wrote this over here just to show you. Okay, so we're in our solve. All right, now what? I know there's 12 drawings in one day. What now? How many drawings? Why? I, very good. You're right. But what am I trying to find out? How many drawings are in 16 days? So in 16 days. Now, I could draw this out too. What would I have to draw though? Um, 12, repeat, 12, multiply 12 times 16. I could, yes, that would be my traditional way, right? I would just multiply 16 times 12. Since we talked about a strategy of drawing it out, what would I draw if I was going to draw? Okay, I could draw an array. Very good. What else? I could do repeated addition. Very good. So I could write out 16 squares and put what inside each square? 12. 12. Do I really want to do that? No. Now, I drew it all out right here. That's probably enough drawing for today, right? So, we know one day is 12 drawings, and he went for 16 days. So, what do I need to know? I need to know how many, how many drawings all together. And I can figure that out with repeat addition. So, I could say 16 plus 16. 16 plus 16, excuse me, by 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12. Would we want to do that? No. What would be our easier way to do it? Traditional. The traditional way of multiplying. So I could do 16 times 12. Okay? Now that I've decided I'm going to multiply, what's another way I can multiply? I could use the what? The value. I could try the value. So let's try the value first and then we'll go to this way, okay? All right. Okay. What is the value of 16? 10 and 6. Good job. And what's the value of 12? 10 and 2. 10 and 2. We start at this corner first, right? So 6 times 2? 12. Then I move from my ones place, or stay in my ones place and move to the tens, two times one, or, or two times ten, because the value of this one is not one, it's what? Ten. So two times ten is? Twenty. Twenty. Add these together. Twenty plus twelve is? Thirty-two. All right, now I'm going to move, I've done my ones, now where do I move to? Ten. Ten. So what two digits are being multiplied now? Six and one, or six times ten, which is sixty. Ten times ten is? One hundred. One hundred. How did I know that was one hundred that fast? One times one is one. Very good. So one times one is? One and I have two zeros, right? That's kind of a little trick, right? You with us? Okay. One hundred. So what's one hundred plus sixty? One hundred sixty. Rakeem, make sure you're whispering. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So now what do I do here? Yeah. Zero plus two? Zero. Zero plus. Zero times two is 
Zero. That's okay. Six plus three? Nine. Nine. One plus zero? One. One. So my answer is one hundred and ninety-two. To what? Drawing. We're not writing anything. We're still working through. Okay? Let's practice the traditional. Now this I do want you to write on your paper. And I want us to practice together the traditional way. All right, we ready? Okay. So then we solved it here. So part of our check is we can solve it another way. We're going to solve the traditional way. All right. Where do we start? What place? One. One's place. So what two digits are we going to multiply? Six times two, which is what? Twelve. Twelve. What digit goes here? Two. Two. What digit goes here? One. Just one or? Puzzle. Plus one. Circle. Okay. What two digits go next? One times two. Plus one is? 32. I've used my plus one and I've used my two, so I'm going to mark them out. Does my 32 match? Yes. Ooh, check. This is part of my checking. All right, everybody marked out their plus one and marked out their two, right? Because we've already used them. We're finished with our ones place. So, now that we're done with our ones place, we have to use a what? Placeholder. What digit am I going to now? Six and one. So six times one is? Six. And one times one is? One. Does 160 match? Yes. Check. Check. Okay. Two plus zero, Melvin. Good job. Three plus six. Cheater. Zero plus one? One. Oh my goodness. Check. Check. So, how many drawings all together? 192. Very good. We checked it all the way through. Good job. Have I got it? Yes. And you circled your correct answer? Yes. Very nice. Let's move on to number two. It's easier? It's easy. 